Metasploit Inventory is a free virtual machine that allows us to simulate attacks largely using the Metasploit attacking framework. And Metasploitable 3, unlike the Metasploitable 2, is open source and requires us to issue some few commands and build it from the uh, virtual uh, box uh, virtualization software. And so instead of downloading it just like we did with uh, Metasploitable 2. So, and also it is more challenging to exploit than the Metasploitable 2. It features the uh, cap capture the flag exercise to simulate a coverage data that a penetration tester or a red teamer seeks to gain access to. But luckily for us, I found a built uh, Metasploitable 3 and the link is here. It has been provided in the uh, lecture. Uh, so uh, to proceed to so we just proceed to download the over file you just click on download and then you proceed to download the uh, virtual box over file but I already have it downloaded so the next thing that we are going to do is to proceed and install this uh, uh, metasploitable or tree on our uh, virtual box uh, virtualization software. So once you download the OBA file of the Metasploitable tree, all you have to do is to just double click it and then it will, op uh, it will be open with the virtual box by the virtualization software and then you proceed to install it on the com on the computer. So all right, so I it, uh, the virtual box has opened it because it recognizes the file type which is OBA file. So uh, now, uh, machine based folder. I have a, speci uh, a specific uh, folder where I install all of my virtual machines. So I'm going to navigate to that uh, for folder. So I will simply navigate. Here I have all my virtual machines, and then this is the folder that I want to install it in. Okay. All right. So uh, I'll be installing it here. I will, I will later remove this windows uh, in the same. Okay, so let me uh, delete delete this. I don't want it. I want to download this in this particular uh, folder. All right, it was exploitable to the windows. So I want to download it on there. I have all my virtual machines here. So I want to uh, install it in this particular directory, Metas Plotable 3 Windows. Also, it comes in two uh, versions. There is uh, Metas, Plo Metas Plotable 3 Windows and Metas Plotable 3 Linux. So this is Metas Plotable 3 Windows. And then I've selected the folder where I want to download this, uh, where I want to install uh, this in virtual box, like the, the directory where it will be stored where the files of this uh, Metasploitable 3 virtual machine will be stored in my computer. All right. So I will now select this folder and then I will just uh, accept all the default setting. And then all I have to do is just to click on this import button. So now the when uh, Metasploitable 3, uh, the Windows uh, version will now proceed and install on my virtual box virtualization software. Okay, so now uh, VirtualBox has finished importing the uh, Metasploitable 3 over file. Now we can start it. We can start. Uh, we can start the operating system. We can. Uh, okay, so we just click here, and then the uh, uh, the Metasploitable 3 virtual machine will power on. Starting up the virtual machine, but I'm having a warning: could not start the virtual machine Metasploitable 3 because the following physical events were not found. Okay, so. Uh, we have to go and connect it to the network. So I will stop here. I'll uh, open close BM. I'll click on close BM. I'll close it. All right. Okay. So we need to go to set the uh, virtual machine. So just come here, click on settings. I need to connect it to a network. So uh, click on settings and then come under network. Then we click here. And then, okay, host only adapter. All right, so we we have a NAT network so that it will connect with the other virtual machines, our Akal Linux and uh, Windows 10 and the Metasploitable 2. So I will select uh, this, select this NAT network, select NAT network. I okay, and NAT network attached to NAT, the type of network is NAT, NAT, NAT network, and then the name is also NAT uh, network. Make sure that uh, all your virtual machines, if you want to connect them to the same network, 
make sure that the network type is the same as well as the network name. Then in that case, that means they are connected to the same network and you can ping one virtual machine from another virtual machine. That means there is connectivity between the virtual machines. So make sure the to uh, ensure that all the virtual machines are in the same network. Make sure that they are attached to the same network type. In this case, it's, it's in, in this our case, it's NAT network. And the name of the network is also NAT network. I decided to name it NAT network, but you're on my defaults, okay? When I click here, you can see Bbox NAT zero. So we have uh, in the same type of NAT network, but here we have two types of, ne uh, with two networks. Uh, the name of one network is NAT, NAT network and the other one is Bbox NAT zero. So I created this network and I name it also uh, NAT network. So make sure the type of network is the same as well as the name of the network. So I'll just, uh, okay. Also, we're also having invalid setting de detected. Okay, that has to do with the display. So we should, uh, the recommended is B, Bbox SBGA. So we'll just come click here. And then click here and then graphics controller B box B box SVGA. Okay, so you see the one has gone away. All right, so you just click OK and then come back and uh, uh and power on the virtual machine. All right, so we have successfully booted into the Metasploitable 3 virtual uh, machine, which I already told you that it is Windows based. It is very based on Windows. As we can see, this is Windows Server 2008. And so, uh, and this, uh, to press, press control, Alt, Delete, Log on, okay? So, uh, since we are on virtual machine, we can't, uh, we can't uh, uh, press this key combination. But we just come here under input and then come on the keyboard and then control alt delete. This will represent uh, the person of this key combination control alt delete. So just click on this. Now it has given us two users. We have administrator user and we have a uh, vagrant. Okay. So I'll select on this vagrant, which is the a normal user. Uh, okay. And the pass, uh, the username is vagrant and the username, uh, the password also vagrant. So just write vagrant and then you'll be able to log in vagrant and then hit enter so starting up and then setting up make sure making sure everything is uh, fully set all right so the virtual machine has finished loading the machine need to restart so i'll just uh, click on restart now all right so the system has uh, finished restarting so let me try to log on into this uh, virtual machine so uh, okay sorry input Go to keyboard and then uh, we click on control alt delete okay so uh we are going to log on as background so uh, we enter the password background background which is which is the same as the username so i'll click uh here click on this arrow to log us in so uh the machine is still loading still loading trying to initialize everything all right so meter exploitable uh tree has finished uh, loading and has initialized everything we are finally installed uh, meta exploitable tree on our virtual uh, machine okay so now let me shut down the machine i'll just come here start and then come under command prompt i prefer shutting down the, everything from the command prompt so i'll make use of the command prompt to shut down the machine so to shut down a uh, windows machine from the command prompt all you have to do is just to uh, issue the command uh, shut down uh, shut down uh dash s uh t then zero so here in this command i'm telling the computer that i want to shut down that should the shutdown followed dash s means i want to shut down and then dash t means the time uh, which is zero that means right now but if, if i want to restart i can also make use of this same command i only need to change the dash s so i'll just uh come over here change the dash s to r if I want to restart the system, but now I don't want to shut down, so I'll make use of this S plug, and then when I just press enter, the machine will uh, shut down.